the latest stable version of Kodi, version 20.4 has been released. If you want to install it on your Fire Stick, Fire Cube or Android device, or if you want to upgrade your existing version of Kodi, I can show you how in this quick video. Let's take a look. Please note that there are some known issues with Kodi 20.4 on certain Android devices. The Kodi website has released an update regarding some generic input issues on Android, where the buttons on the remotes may not function as expected, particularly the back and select buttons. However, it seems that the majority of Fire Stick and Fire TV devices are not affected by these issues. I personally tried version 20.4 on my Fire TV Stick 4K Max second generation, navigating around it with the select and back buttons to install an add-on and play a movie without any issues. If you decide to install or update to Kodi 20.4, it's entirely up to you. Keep watching to find out how. It's really important to protect your sensitive information while using the internet. The good news is that NordVPN can help keep your data safe and secure. Plus, Nord is more than just a VPN, with added benefits such as freeing you from any streaming restrictions. Don't miss out on the best VPN deal available right now. Check out the links provided in the description to get started and stay protected. I'm using the new second gen 4K Max, but don't worry if you're using a different device. The steps are pretty much the same. You can download Kodi from the Google Play Store for Android devices. However, if you want to install it on Fire Stick, Fire Cube or Fire TV, or if it's not available on your app store, you can install it by sideloading it using Downloader. I can quickly guide you on how to install Downloader on your Fire Stick or other Fire TV device, but if you want to install Downloader on any other device, please refer to my previous video linked above or in the description below. Then once you have Downloader installed, return to this video and skip ahead to this part. From the home screen, choose the Find option, then click on Search. Use your remote to start typing the word Downloader. As you select the letters, suggestions will appear below to save you from typing the whole word. Tap down and click on Downloader. Next, select the orange Downloader app and on the next screen, click the button to get or download the app. After installing, click Open and choose Allow to give Downloader permission to save files to your device. This step is essential for using Downloader to save files, so be sure not to skip it. If you are using the Downloader app, you will need to give permission for Downloader to install apps. Go into your Fire Stick settings, My Fire TV, Developer Options, Install unknown apps and click on Downloader to turn the permission on. If you have a newer Fire Stick or Fire TV where the developer options menu is hidden, when you get to the My Fire TV settings, select About. Next, tap the Select button on your remote seven times or until you see a message at the bottom of the screen that says No need, you are already a developer. Once that message appears, press the back button on your remote once and you'll now be able to see and access the developer options menu and allow Downloader to install unknown apps. Open Downloader and type in 28907 then click go. Wait a few seconds for my downloads page to load then press the menu button on your remote and press it again to enter full screen mode. Press the options button again one more time and select add current page to favorites to save my downloads page to your favorites. That way you can always access it even if you forget my code. 
Next, tap down the screen to view a list of categories. Select the Media Players category, then scroll down the list until you find Kodi and select it. On the next screen, tap down to the Kodi Downloads section and select the correct download link for your device. I'm using my Fire Stick, so I'll choose the Fire TV version. Click Install to install or update the app. If you already have Kodi installed, updating it to the latest stable version won't impact any previously installed add-ons as long as you're not updating from Kodi 18. Once installed, click Done and then Delete and Delete again to delete the installation file as it's no longer required. That's all there is to it. Kodi has been successfully installed or updated to the latest stable version. You can now go into your app screen and open it. When you do, to ensure that Kodi works without any problems, you will need to allow Kodi to access media on your device. So make sure you click allow when prompted. Please keep in mind that Kodi is only a media player and it does not come with any content pre-installed. If you wish to enhance your Kodi experience by installing an add-on or even a build, then check out my website firetvsticks.com. Select the Kodi option from the menu and take your streaming experience to the next level. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow. Don't forget that online privacy and security are more important now than ever before. And NordVPN is an excellent choice. I use it almost every day to help me unblock internet restrictions when streaming such as this. With NordVPN connected, I can watch the content I enjoy from anywhere. You can easily download and install NordVPN's user-friendly app on all your devices, including Fire Stick, by searching for it in your app store. With NordVPN, simply connect to any one of their servers to ensure that your online activities are unrestricted and protected from prying eyes and potential cyber threats. The Nord app has some very useful features for your Fire Stick, including threat protection to help keep your device safe from potential security threats by blocking access to malicious websites. Plus, AutoConnect makes connecting to a secure server a breeze by automatically connecting to a network without having to manually do it every time you want to use the internet. Split tunneling lets you choose which apps or websites use the VPN connection and which ones use your regular internet connection. These settings and features are essential for anyone who wants to have a secure and personalised online experience. Check out the links in the video description for the best deals and try it now completely risk-free for 30 days.